Okay, so we've had a request to do one of the resistor algebra questions. So here we've got a circuit set up with two series and then another two in parallel. And this is one we want to find out. That's a question mark, just in case you can't really see that. So our R total is equal to 19 over 20. So the first thing we're going to do is work out the two in series. We simply just add them together and we get five. So now we've got three in parallel, so we can write out our equation that the total resistance in parallel RT, 1 over RT is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. This time I'll make R1 the combination of the two series. I'll make R2 4 and I'll leave this one as our question mark and that's equal to 19 over 20. So the first thing I'm going to do is add these two fractions together. And to add fractions, you require a common denominator. The easiest way to do this is just to multiply the two denominators together. So 5 times 4 is 20. Next, you must look at what you did to the denominator to make it the new common denominator. So I had to multiply it by 4. So I must do that to the top, the numerator. So 4 times 1 is 4. The bottom denominator, again, multiplied by 5, so I need to multiply this one by 5, and 5 ones are 5. We add them because we are adding. So, if I write this out again, 4 plus 5 is 9 twentieths plus our unknown. So now, this is where the algebra comes in. We need to take this term over the equal sign, and when you do that, you need to reverse what it is doing over here. So here it's a plus, so we will subtract it over this side. And 19 tick away 9 is 10. So we've got 1 over R3 is equal to 10 over 20. So therefore if we invert it or take the reciprocal and have R3 over 1 instead, then we must do the same to this one. Cancel these down and we get 2 over 1, which equals to 2 ohms. And that's your answer.